What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday again, which means it's time for Heart of Thursday. This episode is very special because it's something that I like to do a lot, which is a sky replacement. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do a sky replacement using GIMP. So for this effect you need uh, two pictures and I've chosen this picture and I've chosen this picture. Reason being is because we are going to use this sky and we're going to put it on here. So we're going to remove or replace this guy. Uh, first what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate the layer, turn the original layer off. Let's call it original. And let's call this the edit and now what we're going to do is we are going to remove this first so first we're going to do right mouse button alpha channel or add alpha channel uh, that gives it a transparent look here I'll show you guys if I can there we go that makes the background transparent but now the entire picture is going to become transparent. So first we need to select the sky. For that we're going to use the pass tool and we are going to place it outside of the image and then we are gradually, gradually move in. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go across these ledges of the mountain. It doesn't need to be very precise, but just try to uh, do it as precise as possible because otherwise you'll see that you've replaced the sky. I'm going to fast forward this till I've selected everything and then I'll be back to you in a bit. And when you reach the end of the picture, what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way across and then hit the control button, select the first point. And now they are connected. So what you need to do right now is hit enter and the path will be selected. And now what you're going to do is hit the delete button. And as you can see, our sky has vanished. Uh, I want to get rid of this path, so I'm going to do select none and then I'm going to hit this over here to switch off the pass tool. So now we have a picture without a sky and now we need to import this sky. This is a little bit easier because I've got a lot of sky to work with, so I'm not going to do everything as precise as possible. So I'm going to use the lasso tool click outside of it and just go well a little bit close but just around it that I only have some sky and some clouds and not those mountains there we go same principle as in the other picture you have press control you connect the two dots you hit enter and now what you need to do is go to select uh, to edit sorry copy and then go into this picture and then do edit paste as new layer and as you can see the sky has been placed above the picture that's because the layer is on top of the edit layer so we're going to place it beneath it and now what we see is that it's not really uh, set very well so we're going to use the move tool we are going to move this up a little bit and that's the final result uh, let's go back to the original one which is this one this is the original one without uh, the sky replacement and this is with the sky replacement and now what you could do to have the sky match the colors a little bit better is go to uh, select the sky layer go to colors curves and let's see if we can drop down the midtones a little bit and now let's go to colors tint and saturation let's see if we decrease the saturation what will happen now it's gray let's go back a little bit 
Let me do that manually. Minus 50. That's it. That matches a little bit better if you ask me with the rest of the colors. Um, and because I have the uh, this layer selected, I can just edit everything on this layer or in this area and nothing else will be uh, adjusted. Uh, obviously, this was a quick way to do it. If you want to do it a little bit better, you have to be a little bit more precise with cutting out the uh, the edges and the sky and same, same with here. Um, but yeah, this is how you can give a completely different look to your image. And uh, I like this effect a lot, so that's why I wanted to show you guys how that works. And that's it. That's how you change the sky from one picture to another picture or just the sky overall. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. There's one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you like what you saw. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!